Greetings, galactic angels of the ascension awakening. Upon awakening at the dawn of each new day, as we step through the doorways of perception into the manifestation of the new earth with the glorious light shining through the veils, through this great revelation, this apocalypse, the great unveiling of that which was hidden, that which was unknown to the collective consciousness is becoming known and expanding out into the ends of the universe, returning through this time loop as we're breaking free of the prisoners of linear time into non-physical time or non-linear. Every day is a new adventure. We say, with each moment that passes, you cannot make this shift up. <laughs> you cannot make this shift up here. Because for most star seeds and most people, every day, the strangeness, the weirdness, the bizarre is becoming the new normal. So keep walking through and through and through these doorways, these portals, these gateways of perception, the perception of time and space, the perception of transformation, and the perception of awakening and manifestation. We are all releasing and letting go of all that no longer serves ourself or the collective. And as we remove all attachments, our true nature, our pure awareness is shining through, becoming clear. The clarity is coming over our awareness into the creation of the freedom codes so that we can free ourselves and all of humanity and all sentient beings of pure consciousness from the suffering and separation programming and resolve all causes of suffering here now for all eternity. 222 coming through the field and 717, 77 also manifesting as we started this transmission. We'll start off with Archangel Gabriel through Shelley Young. The ascension journey is a process of evolution that has its own divine intelligence. Not only does your body know what to do, you are also being supported energetically in the unfoldment of that evolution. Just as there was no specific knowledge or action required by you in order for your physical body to grow and develop other than to provide the basic needs of food, water, air, and sleep, there is nothing you need to do beyond good self-care in order to assist your body in its energetic process of ascension. Be easy, dear ones. Trust the unfoldment that is occurring. If there is something you need to address in order to support you in your evolution, it will come up into your awareness. Please be tender and loving with yourselves as you are in a corridor of profound transformation. You cannot mess it up, for even if you try to resist the process, all that would happen is you would get far too uncomfortable before long and would simply choose to surrender back into the flow of your divine unfoldment. You are ready to birth the new you and the new earth. In fact, this is exactly what your soul has been preparing for all along. From TrinityEsoterics.com and starting today, this coming week, April 27th through May 3rd, Pluto Retrograde, bringing rebirth and new blessings. 888, karma from the past 18 years will be restored and cleared. Our biggest fears will be destroyed. Old energy will be cleared. It's time for positive changes and the pursuit of our deepest desires. Let gold of the old and allow rebirth. And also today from Archangel Gabriel, trust in the divine plan, channeled by Shanta Gabriel. Trust in the divine plan, bless it, and bless the divine order inherent in every person and every situation. Dear one, when you trust in the divine plan, you are moving into the universal flow of good. You are acknowledging that there is an underlying energy within all things. This is the energy of God, and it is part of the divine plan for all beings to live in harmony, love, and abundance. You can trust this. When you bless the divine order inherent in every person and every situation, it increases the spiritual energy flowing through whatever you are focused upon. Blessings brings more love through the energy of light to the person or situation 
which brings an immediate improvement. Practice. Divine order exists as the underlying truth within all beings and all situations. It is a powerful affirmation for life and can be used as a mantra to remind you of the greater truth within all circumstances. This means repeating the words divine order to settle your mind and to bring you peace. When you don't know what to do, claim divine order and your heart will align with this powerful reality. Divine order is being in perfect alignment with God on every level of your being. Remembering divine order and proclaiming it assists the energy around you to fall into perfect alignment. These very simple steps of trusting, blessing, and remembering can bring you peace of mind in upsetting situations. The more often you remember, the stronger you become. Your inner sense of peace will become unshakable because you have aligned yourself with the ultimate truth at all times. From Shantagabrielle.com and today from Sandra Walter, feeling strong surges of the crystalline plasma flashing activity this day, especially in the last meditation, whole body surges of pure love light, and 144 strand reconnections. What a remarkable phase we are experiencing. Excited for solar focus in May, feeling it into zero point. More love, more light, more unity. Elevation for revelation. We are in a gateway this week. An opportunity to, for timeline shifting, consciousness shifting, global leveling up of ascension after the strongest zero point unifications yesterday in our Sunday unity meditations, we are feeling strong surges of the crystalline plasma flashing activity. Embodiers, connect the solar heart center with Solaris, the sun, and feel the divine light reconnecting your divine DNA. This is the antidote of divine love light. It is flowing into the planet and through all open pure conduits in this now. Whole body surges of pure love light and 144 strand reconnections can be felt if you connect to the organic Stargate system. Excited for solar focus in May, feeling it already. From SandraWalter.com and today from the Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA by Richard Rudd, we enter Gene Key 24. 733 coming in, the 73, 37, and the 33, heaven on earth and the bridge between heaven and earth. Gene Key 24 from April 27th to May 2nd, 2020, which will be the 222 energies. The Gene Key 24 is silence, invention, and addiction. Life is a great divine plan where all human lives collectively form a beautiful tapestry of evolution. In this story, we are each approaching the Godhead in our different ways and guises. The silence is what we keep dipping in and out of. We incarnate from the silence, and then we excarnate back into the same silence. Each time we return, refreshed, renewed, and ready to play another role. Also, there is a perfect continuity to our roles. And the more sensitive and surrendered we become, the more we feel this continuity in our lives and in those around us. The silence is a treasure beyond all others. It sparkles with life like the stars. Silence is not empty as we might imagine, but pregnant with the entire cosmos. Silence is not golden. It is silver like the infinite jewels of the deep feminine sea. Excerpt from the 64 Ways. Also the... Gene Key 24 programming partner is the 44. So we have the divine 44 energies and the Taurus energies, which is fixed earth and 7 degrees 37. So we have the 737 again. And from the Yi Ching, the turning point, thunder within the earth, new life springs forward from the depths, receiving awakening from within. Silence is unified awakening. Invention is orienting initiative. Addiction is dislocated agitation. Receiving realization. Progress and freedom of action are found in return. To and fro goes the way. Return to repeat the proper course. Seven days returns the cycle to its beginning. There is advantage in choosing one's path. 
and today from Matt Kahn, feeling into the truth of things. How things look and how things are are not one of the same. How things look is the evolution of life in progress. How things feel, when not interpreting judgments about how things look, reveals an evolution already in bloom. Instead of using feelings to interpret each judgment about how things look, dare to expand your perceptions by feeling into the truth of things, no matter how displaced, imbalanced, or incongruent anything seems to be. From this space of heart-centered awareness, you allow all imbalances and incongruences to be evened out and transformed just by daring to witness it through the light of your own loving presence. There will be those who insist this act of conscious witnessing is not enough to save the world. The world is not in need of saving. To save a world is an attempt to preserve the very patterning that was never a sustainable or equitable way for species to evolve. Rather, it is a divine setup to inspire a global rebirthing that brings the truth of interconnected reality to the forefront of mass consciousness. Such a truth can only unravel injustices and uncertainties, the more often the tendency of war is seen through the eyes of peace, which gives rise to a more enlightened civilization. This is why love exists, to soothe your most innocent parts with remembrances of your unlimited divine nature. No matter how easy it is to give away your power by judging things in view, all for love, Matt, from mattcon.org. And from Cham Trul Rinpoche, we do not have to create the sun in order to see it. We just have to wait until the clouds have gone. Likewise, we do not have to create emptiness, as it has always been the nature of reality. We have to just get rid of our layers of obscurations that cover our pure awareness, that prevent a non-dual experience of reality. In other words, once these layers of obscuration are gone, one will experience the indivisibility of pure awareness and emptiness. That is the reason why this primordially pure awareness is known as Buddha nature, because when you never fall from this state, you are a Buddha, you are awake to reality. Shamtrul Rinpoche from the Dzolkin Times, Kin 29, Red Electric Moon. The number three is called electric, and its keywords are activate, bond, and service. It's the third day of the blue hand wave spell, and so remember the agenda is healing and accomplishment. Day one of any wave spell identifies the journey, day two considers the obstacles ahead, and day three the energy is electrified, and things really start to get going as if a switch has been turned on. On this electric day, may your healing journey be activated. Today is Red Moon, which represents purify, flow, and universal water. Usually these days are all about relinquishing control and just going with it. However, today has an odd combination of day and number, an electric moon. There is all that electric energy buzzing around, so how do we go with the flow? Water and electricity do not go well together. The tides of the oceans are influenced by the moon cycles, and tuning yourself into the moon's natural flow is instinctive. Perhaps today, by going with the flow, the end result is that you feel better and maybe even have a little energy. Don't be surprised if today that energy comes and goes like the tides. Today from Christina Papagiorgio, Red, Electric Moon, Kin 29, 27, April 2020. Bonding through the service to the goddess. 27 4 2020 equal 9 4 4 equal 17 equal 8. 27 power leadership command. 9 destiny service closure humanity. 4 form structure foundation. 8 infinity abundance source flow. Kin 29 equal 11 equal 2 partnership cooperation. 11. Portal Polarity A very emotionally charged day by highlighting issues of purification, healing, and being of service. We are now in day 3 of the Blue Hand Wave Spell where we are focused on accomplishing healing on all levels. Today we are focused on healing our emotional body and using our knowledge and skills to be of service to others. 
tone of creation. Electric is the tone number three of the tones of creation. It is the first of the three emotional realm tones. Its focus is being of service to others through the action of bonding that is coming together with others to co-create and be of service through your divine mission. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation. It also adds power to anything you are creating today. An extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Electricity and water do not mix well, so beware of the charge today as you could get zapped. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature and rise above any relationship dramas. Instead, access the higher aspects of the electric tone. Together with your divine counterpart, offer your united energies to be of service to all. Expand your focus from bonding with one to the joy of bonding and service to all. Conscious Self, Red Moon, Maluk, Themes are Universal Waters, Feminine Flow, Communication, Emotions, Softness, Intuition, Receptivity. Red Moon activates the Divine Feminine Energies today and those of the Goddess. The Goddess is providing the beautiful Mother God qualities of nurturing care and compassion needed to provide the ultimate healing for our weary body, mind, and soul. The goddess with blue hand is the caring nurse, counselor, or aid worker, the naturopath, healer, or energy worker that can access the healing wisdom needed to make us whole and complete again. The goddess is in full alignment with the natural world in Pachamama and thus can access the apothecary of the herbs, potions, and medicines needed to cure disease. As most physical symptoms of disease stem from an emotional imbalance or trauma, this is the best place to affect the remedy. The goddess is purifying our emotional bodies by going with the flow of our most acute sensitivities to the movement of energy, exploring what it takes to move from a most pure place of sensing all that is around and in us, and allowing that to be the key to moving forward from a place of activating the greatest healing, accomplishing from a place of purity and healing, a wonderful day to be in water. What does it feel like to flow from the most pure space inside your heart? What needs to be cleansed through allowing expression today as I flow in the moment, exploring the movement of energy as it does me? The emphasis of universal waters and purification makes today a brilliant day to swim, bathe, play, or drink blessed water of any form using fluid as a medium for healing therapies. Blue Storm emphasizes the necessity to cleanse and purify our universal waters, those in our physical bodies and those of our planet. Many cooperative alliances are being formed now with planetary kin, bonding and being of service to Gaia focused on environmental projects, cleaning her waters, air, land, and environment, preparing her planetary body for the upgrade she is making to a pristine 5D planet of beauty, peace, and harmony for all her beloved children. Overall, a powerful day filled with questioning how you can activate your electrical power to send waves of pure charged energy to uplift and energize others through the power of your heart. A saint serves others, knowing that the more one serves, the greater the opportunity for the spirit to sanctify and purify. Russell M. Nelson Today's question is how can I purify my heart and bond with others, activating a greater electrical current of flow, fueling my divine service. Divine blessings for the expression of the true divine electrical power of your precious heart. In Lakek Alakin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66, Kin 29, Red Electric Moon. The mantra, the code for today is, I activate in order to purify bonding flow. I seal the process of universal water with the electric tone of service. I am guided by the power of space. And as we continue our journey through the sacred wave spell and the sacred journey, the vision quest within, traveling infinitely deeper and deeper into the still waters, into the empty void of eternal life, as we let go every layer 
every conflict, all duality is being removed as we seek the kingdom of heaven, the peace, the stillness, the sacredness. We create sacred space with our pure intent, our intent for the healing of all sentient beings, pure consciousness, pure awareness, the innocence of the divine spirit that resides within all living beings. Thank you for joining us on this great journey, this great vision quest together. Please let us know in the comments below what you're seeing, experiencing, feeling, your visions, your dreams, and synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and the little bell next to subscribe for notifications on future uploads. And we always have a link in the description below the video for the transcription of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. So visit us there. We have over a thousand videos and articles on the website. And as we look out into the world all around, with our awareness in our heart center, feeling our connection to all things, anything that rises up in the mind, witness it and let it go. Become the witnesser of the witness by putting your divine awareness into this now moment. And through that feeling, we experience our connection to all things and all life. And anything that arises internally or externally that may trigger negative emotions, be gentle with yourself, allow yourself to feel whatever it arises within the body, within the mind and let go into that feeling. Allow it to carry you in. Everything you feel, every sound you hear, is your beloved home calling to you to return. Return home, return to love, return to the light, return to bright virtue, which is the unborn mind of Buddha. Buddha nature, cosmic consciousness, Christos consciousness, here now, for all eternal awakening. I love you all. Namaste.